Yeah, hello there. Today we are going to answer this B part three question. So this is the tax. Let's go straight to the tax. I've already dropped video on the quiz question. You can check it on my channel. Okay, now let's address this question. So create your answer directory. So we navigate to the root and create a directory called this name. So let's copy the name. Then click here to get to your sandbox. Sorry, sandbox. Yeah, sandbox web terminal. So when you click on the sandbox, this is what how this appear. Click on this web terminal, it will take you to this section. So you can see that this is our directory. What do we do? We cd to our root. So you see the change directory to root. Then you click on it. List you use your W I part to check PWD to check with to confirm that we are in the root directory. Then you ls to list all the directories. You can see the directories that are there. So you can see that we don't have that particular directory that is required to force. So what do we do? We press, we type the mk make directory. Then you press a control a v to paste what you copy from that section. So you can see this is the name of the directory. Then you enter it. That directory is there. When we list again, you see the directory is now included. Yeah, this is the directory now. So now let's to go into the directory. We say cd cd space zero three yeah enter so now we are in the directory right so what do we do what what is the next question now if you the next question say we should write what is the command to insert text before the cursor right and write the answer into the file this is the name of the file inserting okay so we are going to answer this question with v v editor so that we can practice it and understand how v editor work right so how do we enter this now we are inside the, the full directory so how do we go into our v directory you click on sorry you type v v space the file name control v it's finding it press enter you can see now we are in inside v now so the, the question said how do we get insert right how do we how okay what is the command to insert text before the cursor now what is the command you just type in this is the answer so you, you type a, a key to get to insert mode so you can't type the type you are in insert mode. Now we are in insert mode. You type a key to get into insert mode. Then you type in uh, the little key. This is the key here, eh? little I. Then to leave this mode, what you do is you press the escape key. key. Then when you press the escape key, you type, you press shift colon X. So this shift column X will save your file and exit from V. Can you see it now? Okay. Now what we we'll do next is you come and check if your answer is correct. Let's check if the answer is correct. Oh, fantastic. You can see it's correct. So it's the same method. So it's good we, we use V. So that we can master how this editor works, right? So the next question says, number two, it says, what is the command to delete and cut the current line, right? Let's do. Let's go straight into that now. To delete and to cut. Okay, let's go back now. Let's oh, let's copy the name first. Cutting. So let's do that. Our answer is yes to come here. Let's what's happening. Or do you want us to okay? So what's the problem? Oh, this network is bad now. Okay, we have our okay, they are correct. Now the second question is cutting. So what is the command to delete and cut the current line? Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Then our we type our V file name is 
cutting. They will enter it. Then the command to cut and de uh, delete and cut the current line should be GG. GG. Start. So you click, you click on any key to insert, right? Then you add DB. So that is it. So when you press the I key, is to take you to insert. Then when you press the cost uh, escape, it will close the it, the, it, bring the, it close that command. It close the insert mode and give you this command so that we can type in give you command mode so that we can press shift X shift colon X then we enter it so our answer is save right into our our file so when you click on this you see the answer is there you can see the answer is correct so the next question say paste okay how do we what is the command to paste the line in the buffer into the text after the cursor line okay let's go straight into that question now yeah what is happening this thing is okay if not let's see what's, what is the, uh, screen is okay so what's ah okay let's continue Pasting. Okay, let's copy this. Let's copy it. And then let's go. So, what do we do again? Enter V. Right. So, the command for. So, for us to go into insert mode, now we press I on our keyboard. Right. To enter insert mode. Then the next thing is when insert mode, I type Y, Y. That's for the paste right into the current line. Then for us to close exit from Z, uh, V and save it, you press the escape button on your keyboard, then press shift colon right and type X. Press X rather. Then enter. So you save, you can go back again. Yes, this is. Here's the question. Okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, our answer is wrong. Oh, sorry. Let's quickly call it. Let me read the question again. What is the command to paste the lines in the buffer into the text? After, oh my bad. After the current line. Okay. Let's go back. We we'll correct it now. So let's go back to V. You see, V paste. Yeah, let's go back to V. So it said after the current line. So we are going to use use insert and to enter again. Press on insert. Then let's delete it. Then the answer should be E. Then escape. Shift colon X. Enter. And let's go back. Check if as is if we are. Oh, fantastic! Sorry, I, I read the question upside down. Sorry about that. Then number four question: Undo. Undo. Undoing. What is the command to undo? Undo what you just did. You, you is the answer. The answer is you. So let's copy. You should be the answer. Let's go back. V. Chip V. And I for insert. Press insert. Uh, uh, press I on your keyboard so that we can go into insert mode and press it. Then the next answer is you. Then I press my escape key. Press Shift colon and x are good right let's check the answer uh where is it okay where is it? let's check let me pause so that we got the video load okay you can see our answer is correct then let's close it then let's go to the next one 
what is the command to quit V, even though last changes have not been saved for this V call? Okay, what this is saying is, how do we let me copy the, the, the file name in ZT? So, what he's majorly saying is, how do we exit V without saving it? Right? So, now we type V file name. Uh, so for us is the answer should be Q. Sorry, let's press I on your keyboard first. Okay. Enter in search mode. Then we press the Q, which is your answer. So I've done something wrong. I for insert, yes, Q. Then you press escape. Shift column X. Reason why now, if we don't want to save this now, we don't want to save this, we just press Ctrl Q. Sorry, yeah, Ctrl Shift Ctrl Q. Now I have to go back, I need to go back in search mode. I have to go back in search mode by pressing my command key. Yes, so I'm back in search mode now. So, what I will do, this is the correct answer. Column, sorry, what's happening? Start. Mm -hmm. So I have to go back to insert mode, then column B. It's getting it. See, this is it. Column V for you to be able to quit. Then I'll press the escape key, then shift column X to save, exit. So now we go back to our, to check it. Okay. Instead of wasting time, let's continue. When that one loads, you we'll check the answer later. So the next question says, what, okay, fine. So you see the answer is correct. So what is the command to move the cursor to the start of the current line? That should be O. So let's copy the question again. Copy the line from here to so this place. Control C. Go. Now we say V. Control V. <coughs> now the answer should be O. Sorry, zero, not O. Zero. So before that, you press what? It's to go to, go to insert mode. You press I. You enter insert mode. Then you press zero. Then you press Escape. Right on your keyboard. Then you press Shift colon. Then this colon what here, here. Then you press X to exit and save. Now let's go back and let's check our code. While that is checking, we can continue always pause and wait for it to move. Okay, you can see the answer is correct. Then the last question, but not the least. Yeah, so let's answer the question. What is the command to move the cursor to the end of the line? So let's go. I'm sorry, let me copy the uh, what's the file name end of the line. So let's copy it. Then we type V and okay, V enter. Then the answer is dollar. You press insert mode. I for insert mode. Then you you press dollar shift four with the dollar sign. Then you press escape. On your keyboard, then shift colon X, close and exit V command. Then you let's check the answer. So you can see. So the essence of doing this is for us to know how to use V in our in our terminal. We can there's only you can use the other method, which is see the answer is correct. We can use the other method, which is also also shorter, faster. But I just want us to go through this route, so you on your own can learn how to use V, right? So thank you very much. And if you want me to use the other method, which is okay, let me quickly show you the other method that you can use. So the other method you can use is just to go to your is that echo, eh? Yeah? Echo then the command 
can just do, use this double uh, double quote like this. Then what is the command for the last question is hash a dollar sign. Then you put the angle bracket. Then the name of the file. The name of the file. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, this is it. So this also will work. Also will work, but we choose to use the other method so that you can have experience working inside V. So that's that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can see all the answers are.